very much. Please be seated. <clears throat> it is a pleasure to welcome back to the White House Prime Minister Bruton of Ireland and President Santer of the European Union. Next month, our negotiators will finish work on a set of mutual recognition agreements which will abolish requirements that a broad range of products, including telecommunications and medical equipment, be reinspected and recertified for each other's markets. This will remove barriers on $40 billion worth of trade between the United States and the European Union, cutting red tape for our businesses and prices for our consumers. One standard, one test, one time. We look forward to working with European, African, and other nations to turn this concept into a reality. It's, it's, we have discussed how we can promote peace and stability in the world. We will reach agreement before the end of January on the mutual recognition by our standards authorities of products produced in the EU and in the US. A lot of business costs will be saved by ensuring that one certification will apply for a product. If it's safe enough for the United States, it will be safe enough for Europe and vice versa. That will save a lot of money for business and will en enable more employment and more innovation. These were the challenges that this summit first and foremost set out to address. Uh, where the European Union will be preparing a major report on organized crime as a whole, which is an, in a sense a 